Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this adorable preemie sized pumpkin hat. Great for Halloween if you crochet for the NICU or if you have a little one. These are a fun little treat to help make that holiday Halloween in the NICU just a little bit more fun. What you're going to need is some worsted weight yarn in two different colors. This is Lion Brand Pound of Love, which tends to be a lighter weight for yarn. Um, this is the color Pumpkin Pie, and this is the color Taupe. This one is Pumpkin Spice and Taupe. So just some ideas, but any color you choose should be just fine. You're gonna need a G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, a yarn needle, and a tape measure. Okay, we're gonna begin with round one. Let's start by creating a magic circle. Chain two and place 10 double crochets inside your magic circle. and 10. If you're not comfortable with a magic circle, you can do an adjustable loop as an alternative. Take your string, pull that tight to tighten your circle, and we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. So you want to skip the chain two, which is right here, and you're going to slip stitch right here into the first stitch of the round. And that is the end of round one. Round two, start by chaining two. And this chain two does not count as a stitch. We're gonna place two double crochets in each stitch of the round. So in other words, increase in each stitch. There's our first increase. So you should have your chain two and then two double crochets, but that's only counting as two stitches. There's four. Six. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Sixteen, eighteen, and our last one, twenty. So it should look something like this. 
This is your slip stitch. So make sure you're not placing a stitch in here. So your last stitch will be here. There's your slip stitch. So you're, we're gonna join with the slip stitch to the first stitch of the round, which is over here. So this is your slip stitch in your chain two. We're gonna skip those and place our slip stitch into the first double crochet. So join with the slip stitch. And that is the end of round two. For round three, we're gonna chain two and we're going to double crochet and then increase 10 times. So chain two, double crochet in the same stitch as your chain two, increase in the next stitch. So two double crochets in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that process all the way around. So double crochet one time in the next stitch, then increase in the next stitch. Continue this pattern and I will meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of round three. So remaining, we have our slip stitch. We're gonna skip that and we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet of the round, which is right here. So get into that stitch, slip stitch, and that is the end of round three. So at this point in time, your diameter should measure between two and a half and three inches, depending on the weight of your yarn. If your yarn's a little thinner, you're gonna be closer to two and a half inches. Yarn's a little thicker, three. If you are way too big or way too small, sorry, my dog is barking. Chase? Chase from Paw Patrol. All right, you may need to adjust your hook size. So this is a good point in time to check to see if you're meeting the gauge. So round four through seven, we are going to double crochet in each stitch around. So chain two, double crochet in the same stitch as your chain two and just one double crochet in each stitch of the round. So that will be for rounds four, five, and six, if you want to have a micro preemie size, which is this one here. This is probably for a one to two pound baby. If you want it to be a little bit longer, you're going to complete rounds four through seven with one double crochet in each round. So this one is gonna be more for a three to maybe five pound baby. But you know, all babies are different. So if it's not exact, it's okay. It will fit somebody's head. So go ahead and finish round four through six or round four through seven and I will meet you there. So I just completed round seven, and this, you should have something that looks like this. Little tiny hat. Mine's measuring about three inches, give or take, from the crown to the bottom. So the next round, we're gonna do those bobble stitches. Okay, so now we are ready to start round eight. And this is gonna be our row where we make these little pumpkins. So instead of chaining two, we're gonna chain one. And we are going to turn our work. Next, we're going to single crochet in the same stitch as your chain one. So it's gonna be right here. Place one single crochet and then single crochet again in the next stitch. So that's two single crochets in a row. And next we're going to do a bobble stitch. 
And then we're going to repeat that sequence of two single crochets and a bobble, two single crochets and a bobble. And that will be a total of 10 pumpkins all the way around. So let's do our first bobble. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, again, and one more time. So it's a total of five times. Pull through the first two. You should have six loops left on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. Single crochet in the next stitch. And then single crochet again in the next stitch. So single crochet two in a row. And you'll see that bobble start to pop out there. We're going to bobble again. There's our second bobble single crochet in the next two stitches. I'm going to do one more bobble. I'll do it slowly this time. So what you're doing is yarning over, pulling up a loop and pulling through the first two loops five times. And you should end up with six loops on your hook before you finish your bobble stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That was one. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Same thing. That was three. Four. Last time, yarn over, Insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. There should be six loops. Yes, there are. Yarn over, pull through all six loops. Single crochet in the next two. So continue this pattern till you reach the end of the round and I will meet you there. All right, so we're headed towards the end of round eight. Got one more sequence to do here, so we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and a bobble in our last stitch. All right, and that completes this round. There's your slip stitch and your chain one, and we're going to join with the slip stitch into the first stitch of the round, which is right here. So there's your slip stitch, your chain one. This little piece is from where we turned our work. Right in there is where your slip stitch will go. So join with the slip stitch. Now, before you chain one, we are going to change colors. We're going to change to the stem color, and mine's going to be this taupe color. So just leave a little bit of a tail here, snip off your pumpkin color. I'm going to go ahead and turn my work and attach my stem color by chaining one. And I like to grab all of my tails 
and work them in so I don't have less weaving in. The less tails I have to weave in, the better. So for this round, we're gonna chain one. We already did that. We're gonna single crochet in each stitch around. And then we will join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. So make sure you're getting into that first stitch, which is the bobble stitch from the previous row. And I'm gonna single crochet over top of my tails. You don't have to do that. We're just gonna single crochet all the way around. Should still have 30 stitches. <clears throat> Join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then do another round of single crochets each stitch, and then I will meet you there. I've reached the end of round 10. I'm gonna join with a slip stitch to my first single crochet of the round. Join that there. And I'm going to fasten off, I'm going to chain one and leave a long tail. So snip that, pull your hook out. So your hat should be looking something like this. And at this point, your hat I lost my tape measure. Let's get that tape measure. At this point, your hat should be measuring about three and a half to four inches from the crown to the bottom. So I'm just at about three and a half. If you want your hat to be longer or shorter, you could always add or subtract a row from the brim but I think this will be a good size for me. Not for me, but for the baby that I want to make this hat for. And next you're going to thread your tail with your needle. And we're gonna stitch some stems into each bobble so that it looks like a pumpkin. So first I want to stitch up through here to get my tail where I want it. So just pull that through. So now should be looking at our pumpkins and there'll usually be a double crochet that lines up above one of your pumpkin stitches. So come up through your bobble stitch And then just make a stitch into the double crochet above it. Here's your little pumpkin stem. And do that in each pumpkin. So come up through the top of your bobble stitch and stitch into the double crochet above it. Don't pull too tight. Tails are kind of getting caught up underneath here. Okay. 
So keep going with this until you've made a stem over top of each bobble stick stitch to make 10 little pumpkins. And then I will meet you for the next step. I've just made my last stem. So now you just wanna fasten off. And I do that by just making a little tiny knot. Just go through any space next to where your yarn's coming out. Come back through this loop, make a knot, and then weave this end in. There is the pumpkin hat. Sorry, my hair's making noise. So cute. You can leave it like this. You could attach a little pom-pom, but I'm gonna show you how to make a cute little stem with a little curly leaf. So next we're gonna be making the little curly Q. So you'll grab your G hook again. And you're gonna take your hook kind of off to the side around like between two and three o'clock and come in through the center of your hat. You're gonna reattach your stem color. So pull it through here and then chain one to connect here. Next, you're gonna chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So a nice long chain here. Make sure you don't twist the chain. And you're gonna place three double, three single crochets in each of these chains, starting from the second chain from the hook. So here's the chain on the hook, first chain, second chain. So we're gonna place three single crochets in this chain here, and in the next one, and in each one until we get back to the top of the hat. And be careful not to twist your chain. I kind of hold it between these two fingers to keep it from flipping directions. Last chain, one, two, and three. You're going to go back, stitch back into the center of the hat, stick your hook into the center of the hat, and come back out around 12 o'clock and make a slip stitch. So grab that yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through. There's your little curly cue, your leaf or whatever you wanna call it. And now we're gonna create the stem. And to create the stem, you're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and in the remaining chains across. So here's our chain on the hook. First chain, second chain. So we're going right in there, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There's your half double crochet. Do that in each chain.
last one. And then slip stitch back into your hat to finish off. Chain one to secure there. Snip off a little end there to weave in. Pull out your hook. And voila! Cute little pumpkin creamy hat. I'm gonna weave in these ends. But I love these, it came out so adorable. So this should fit, I would guesstimate anywhere between two and five pound preemie. And I'm going to link to the written pattern in the description box, but also keep a lookout for another preemie size that's going to be a little bit larger, about five and a half to six pounds. And then I will also have instructions for a newborn version, but those will be coming soon. And once they're available, I will link to those in the description as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please consider subscribing. Um, if you do make the hat, I'd love to see it. Tag me on Instagram at buttfirstcrochet. And I hope you consider crocheting for the NICU. It is so rewarding. But if you have a little pumpkin at home, a little newborn, so cute for them too. I just um, gained a baby nephew uh, earlier this week and I am going to make him one of these and he will love it. All right. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below.